So here it is, uh, my new shiny 6.2 kilowatt solar inverter which is on and off grid. So it has a grid tie inverter with it, uh, single MPPT and uh, can also work as offline that is 6.2 kilowatt. Um, yeah, I did not want to buy it but I was looking for a very cheap uh, inverter which can be on and off grid and can work with uh, yeah voltage ranges from solar panel between 150 to yeah 400 volts and yeah i did not want to give more than 300 euros or rather 350 or 400 others were in this range more than 2000 euros in european market so here it is and it is working so first go through the specification yeah the nominal operating voltage it says 360 volt but uh, solar panel input volt can be between 90 to 400 volt mine is uh, six panels that is around 200 volts 240 volts full wo full load it can buy yeah 240 volts and rated power is 6 6.5 kilowatt uh, solar charging current can be 120 ampere and yeah ac input which is also configurable can work with 40 amperes and so on so but maximal h ac charging is 100 amperes that's what it says so Let's see how it works out and how I have configured it. So the first you have to press for long. Then it comes to the configuration screen. And then from here, you can go through different configuration items. Like number two is the maximum charging battery charging current via AC that I have configured to 40 amperes if you go to 0 1 this says that which has the priority so I I don't want to be uh, I don't want it to be charged from the AC but only from solar so SUB means yeah if the it is only the solar energy if it is not sufficient then the ac charge will be there but um, ac charge i have discontinued or switched off that's why you can see there is no voltage there then number three is the appliance voltage i did it to three you can look into the manual then what is important is the frequency of the AC is 50 Hertz how much voltage it needs to be there at number 10 then if we come to the number 11 it says what is the maximum utility charge in current it means that what is the maximum charging current it needs to take from the AC so I set it to 30 amperes if it is required yeah. now we can see you see how does it works let me turn it on with the switch which is here yeah a word of advice the switch does not switch off the um, inverter if the battery is connected and if the battery is connected then there will be the inverter doesn't work but the battery will be charged so let's switch it on and after that it, it can be seen that the input current is 230 volts and the inverter is has started that's why IME AC is turned on now let's see I will turn on the AC you can see then it can be identified it should be identified let's see how it works 
so now we can see that utility is identified and it is bypassing no charge is being taken from the battery but directly it is bypassed because it is there if the charging current is not required it means if the battery is charged completely then it will connect go to the grid time mode and the sign here the grid mode grid will blink every two to three seconds when it blinks it means that it is connected to the grid tie yeah a word of advice never ever never ever put the ac out to the grid but the grid tie should only be it will identify and it connects only with the input so only connect the line in yeah furthermore this device does not have any polarity protection so make sure that when you connect the panels the polarity is correct and it is connected to the plus and minus same with the batteries make sure that what you connect is correctly crimped you use good wires and then polarity you should take care otherwise inverter does not have any yeah polarity protection so that's it for the fr first uh, review if you have any questions ask in comments next time uh, i will post a tear down video of this thing thanks and subscribe if you like the video please like thanks a lot bye